Hungary in 1985. In 2013, President Barack Obama nominated her to the United States Court of Appeals for the Tenth Circuit. She previously served on the Kansas Supreme Court starting in 2010, and before that on the Kansas Court of, of Appeals starting in 2004. Washburn Law graduate and Associate Dean Jalen O'Neill Lowry recalled her friendship with uh, Nancy. Like anyone who has spent two minutes with Nancy, I'm in awe of her phenomenal intelligence, charm, and energy. And like anyone who has worked with Nancy, I deeply respect her. Nancy served for two decades on the board of editors for the Kansas Bar Journal and was the first woman to chair, uh, chair the organization. She delivered for Meals on Wheels for many years and served on the Kansas CLE Commission and the Board of Governors of the Washburn University School of Law. Friend and colleague Shelley Sutton said, you are always level-headed, strong, smart, and willing to tackle any project with an open mind. There is no one more caring and compassionate than you, professionally or personally. Whether it is rescuing feral kittens in the middle of the night, trying new recipes, or helping a friend or family member, you are always there. Nancy's cousin, Roseanne Morrow, said, Nancy is the most encouraging and supporting person I know. She is always willing to listen, help, or advise if needed. She has a fierce dedication to her work, but has never let it impact her devotion to her family. It can't always be an easy balancing act, but she does it with grace and generous spirit. Nancy, on behalf of the Alumni Association and School of Law, we are pleased to honor you as a Washburn Alumni Fellow. Okay, I knew I was going to have to go after, go next, and I'm, I'm really just, uh, I, I'm overwhelmed by our first two, two honorees, and uh, reading, reading about the remaining honorees, it just gives me this warm and fuzzy feeling about Washburn, and I had the same feeling a year ago when I sat here, my friend, Dean Lowry was the Washburn Fellow for the law school, and I was privileged enough to sit at her table. And I came away from that event last year thinking, it just doesn't get any better than this. I mean, I, I was so overwhelmed by the talent uh, that's out there. Uh, Washburn grads that I had no idea, uh, and I'm just so pleased to be among this fine group. And President Farley, thank you for the reception at your home last night. That was wonderful to get to, to briefly meet some of the honorees uh, ahead of time. And it was so much fun, but I felt like it wasn't long enough, so we're all coming over for dinner tonight. I hope Mrs. Farley does Or maybe, maybe uh, Susie could organize a reunion for next year for us. Susie, thank you for that introduction. I really appreciate it. Um, and uh, Robin, thank you for organizing this lovely event. I have had two, three wonderful days at the university. I, because I'm here in Topeka, I luckily get to be over here quite often, and these last three days have just been some of the most enjoyable of all my, my life, just going over and getting to be with the law students, and uh, what the, the law school held a reception for me. Uh, some of my colleagues from the Kansas Supreme Court were there. Uh, Many of my classmates from around the state showed up, and it was just, it was a joyous occasion. So I have a few try to make them short remarks, I promise. Um, my journey to Washburn, <coughs> excuse me, started in the spring of 1978 when my mom brought me to Topeka. There was a snowstorm, it was terrible, it was a blizzard, the roads were icy and slick, and my mom was driving, and it was white knuckle driving all the way here. But we were coming for me to take the Garby scholarship uh, test, which I think they still, they still do a test. And <clears throat> I, I remember feeling very anxious about the test, and I should explain that, um, excuse me, I've got a cold, I apologize. I should explain I needed a scholarship very badly. Uh, <laughs> not because I hadn't done it well in high school, I had, I'd done well, I simply couldn't afford a four-year college, and my family could not contribute a penny financially. Um, although they supported me in every other way. See, now I'm going to start crying. See what you started. <laughs> my father had been diagnosed with Huntington's disease, a pretty horrible neurological disorder uh, that my 
two sisters later passed away a, a few years earlier, and he had been hospitalized at the VA here in Topeka. So we had come to the VA many times and stayed with my dear aunt and uncle who are no longer with us, and my cousin Rosetta would have cried. <laughs> and it was kind of a home away from home for me, Topeka was, so Washburn was a natural choice. Um, but my mom, who was deaf, had extremely limited work options in the little town that we lived in, which was Tipton at the time. Um, and so when we were, I was 15, she moved me and my, my five siblings to Salina, where she worked more than full time just to support us. So there just wasn't any ability to fund college, and I was the first family member to get to a four-year college. So, so my results on that Garvey scholarship that day meant everything to me. Uh, and so I remember walking the door from the cold wind and the snow, and uh, there were several people there that were warm and wonderful and inviting and said, come on in, you're going to do great, sit down. And I remember feeling like I had walked into my home. And I sat down, I took that test, I felt confidence. Uh, I finished fourth. Uh, I got a scholarship that paid more than half of my tuition and, and fees the whole time and I was here. Uh, I ended up with a scholarship in law school too. And, it's, uh, I, and I ended up getting other scholarships and they basically paid me to go to school here, which was a gift I could never have imagined. But what they did for me that day to warmly welcome me and to give me everything that I needed to do well at that moment, they did for me the next seven years. And I, I frankly owe everything I am and my career, which has been tremendous, to Washburn University and the opportunities that it gave me. Um, a few months after I took the Garvey test in the fall of 78, I have another distinct memory, and that's my sister Kathy and I, uh, my best friend who's sitting over here, and my mom dropping me off at Carruth Hall, a dormitory down the street that was no longer in existence. Some of you might remember Carruth Hall, and you do, Brenda. Yeah. I recall hugging them goodbye, trying not to cry, and walking upstairs to my new dorm room in my potluck three dorm, dormy, uh, fellow dormies, and, and again, having that feeling like I was coming home. I never, ever felt like this was a strange place. I, I felt supported and, and loved. And then fast forward about 30 plus years to October of 2014, and I found myself along with my family members uh, driving to Washburn University on a beautiful fall day, uh, and once again having that marvelous sensation that I had again today of coming home. I walked into the White Concert Hall where the United States Court of Appeals for the Tenth Circuit was holding a special setting in court to swear me in as the newest member of the Tenth Circuit Court of Appeals, um, right here at my home. <laughs> so not only did, the, did uh, Washburn host the court, uh, they also graciously hosted a reception for several hundred people afterwards in the Union. And I can tell you, President Farley, I'm still so grateful for that day. Um, my colleagues on the court, by the way, were so impressed by Washburn's hospitality in our beautiful campus, and uh, they've, they, we had held court in, in, at Washburn um, at one point, and they all, I said at Washburn, yes, yeah, yeah, it was, yeah, and I'm sorry, I've been, I've been at court here with three different courts, so I, I, I have to kind of remember, um, and uh, they all kind of fought to come back here to Washburn's campus. Um, as you heard from my introduction, I've held a number of jobs. My brother Larry, who's not here with us because he's ill, likes to say that he wishes I could hold a job for more than just a couple of years. <laughs> but, but like I said, thanks to Washburn, I have felt prepared and ready every single step of my career. Uh, from my first job as a research attorney to Justice Harold Hearn, who was a Washburn grad, to my second job for Judge Pat Kelly, who was a Washburn grad, and I think that had something to do with them hiring me, um, to my current position as a judge on the Tenth Circuit. Um, <clears throat> uh, I, I know you've all been here long enough, but I'd like to briefly introduce the folks at my table. My sister Kathy from Salina, my brother John from Hayes. My mom couldn't be here because she was coming with my brother, uh, Larry, who's ill, so I'm, we're missing her today. My cousin Roseanne, who we, we are proud to call sister. Um, 
my cousin Mary from Hanover, Kansas. We're a tight family. Um, my good friend, Jalen Lowry, who I've already introduced, the Dean of Students, and my good friend, Shelly Sutton, the Director of Continuing Legal Education in Kansas. Uh, um, I also want to thank some folks sitting at the table over here. Patrick McKissick, Julie Olson, Caitlin Allegria, Carly Davis, all the folks at the Foundation. Uh, you people do an outstanding job, and you certainly are working behind the scenes every day. Sean Leisinger, uh, we're always working behind the scenes to make sure that the law school just continues to improve, and I don't think we appreciate you folks quite enough, so thank you for everything you've done for the law school and for me. Also at my table, I'm lucky enough to have a couple of law students, one of them, Kate Lander, who was my intern, last year and is going to be going to work at Spencer Fane, uh, Britton Brown, a law firm that I worked at in Kansas City for many years. I'm kind of proud of Kate. And I met yesterday Brian Kong, uh, who's a, also a 3L at Washburn. And Brian, I asked uh, people to raise their hands in the room who had clerked for the Shawnee County District Court because that was my one of my jobs during law school and one of the best jobs I had that I would never have gotten had it not been for Washburn. And Brian raised his hand and I I was so happy to hear that because I think I think it's going to turn out to be as wonderful for you as it was for me. So I'm happy to have Brian at my table. One of my former law clerks is here, Melanie Wordsley. Where are you, Melanie? Melanie is now a professor in the Criminal Justice Department here at Washburn. It's Chief Justice Lawton Ness, who's in the audience. Lawton. Stand up, stand up. Chief Justice of the Kansas Supreme Court. As, as we mentioned, is here, and he was my colleague. Even though he's not an Ichabod, we're claiming him as an honorary Ichabod. <laughs> so pleased to have you here today. And I don't know if most of you know, but he's going to be retiring here this fall. And he has so ably leaded the Kansas Supreme Court and the entire court system through a very difficult period of time these last 10 years. And I'm just so thankful for your service to the state. Um, I've spoken long enough. I, I, I guess I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, I love this place, and this is this is an honor I probably don't deserve, but I am I will treasure it. 